Everybody talking about why did he leave? Why did LeBron James leave? Well, I'm going to give you the real. He left because Chris Bosh wasn't bringing his ass to Cleveland. He just left Toronto. Cold ass Toronto. Now, take it in mind, these guys are 25 years old, him and LeBron. Wade is the oldest. He's 27. He's in South Beach, Florida. You know how many chicks are rocking around there year-round in bikinis on the beach? Bosch wants to get to the action. You know, he's in cold ass Toronto. Most people don't even know who Chris Bosch is. He won for the Olympics. They're like, oh, that guy's great. Where's he been? He's been in Toronto. If it wasn't for the dunk contest, you wouldn't know who Vince Carter was. Nobody knows anybody in Toronto. That's why Turkoglu made the worst mistake of his life going to play there. They should move the team entirely. It's a hockey town. That's why you think the Grizzlies got out of there. Nobody cares about Toronto as far as basketball. Bosch needed out, and he got out. But he wasn't going to play for the Bulls. Because they weren't going to pay him. He wasn't going to the Knicks. Because, hey, he gets cold there. And then they signed Stoudemire to a crazy amount of money. His only bet was going with Wade. And that was in South Beach. He was following Dwayne Wade around everywhere Wade had to go for his meetings. Bosch was there. I mean, you talking about Dwayne Wade, who turns out to be the biggest winner. And this whole thing, he's the closest to Michael Jordan as far as endorsements and everything else. He's the only guy that's that close to Michael Jordan. And all, all the players in the league, all the young players, is Dwayne Wade. Michael talks to him. So all this comparisons to everybody else, Dwayne Wade is the guy sleeping with superstar models and actresses. He's partying up South Beach. Miami belongs to him. And now, he didn't got two of his buddies to come down to be his minions. <laughs> LeBron Minion James. <laughs> so, like my buddy calls him LePon. LePon James. Goes and moves out of Cleveland. And everybody's like, well, why, why did he do that? And... Why did he just get up and leave Cleveland and Cleveland sucks and he wanted to go to a better team. A better team. Cleveland won 60 some odd games two years in a row. They were the best team in the NBA. So how he's not going from a Cleveland team that won 20 some games and he wants out. He's tired of losing, I can understand. You coming from a franchise that's successful. They're winning games. Y'all are like about one or two players away from winning a championship. And let's say he does win in Miami with the superstar team. They win two championships. What does it mean? What does it mean, really? How big is that going to be? Miami already won one without you. How big is it going to be? If you had won one in Cleveland, you save the city if you win one in Cleveland. You understand what that means? A city that's known for being cursed, you come in and win an NBA championship in Cleveland, you save, personally save the city of Cleveland a decade, well, shoot, a century of just heartbreak from football, baseball, all aspects. Talk about Michael Jordan and what he did for the Bulls. And Michael Jordan came into a franchise that hadn't won anything. The Bulls, where did they win a championship? And they built something there. So LeBron James left because he wanted a quick championship. But he didn't want all the pressure to be on his shoulders. He didn't want to be the man. Could handle that pressure every year. But is it me or the NBA is really just becoming like theatrical?
So now you got you got the Miami Heat. Well, why do they even have a regular season? They should just set a date for the playoffs and just have the Lakers play the Heat and just start the series. You know, because it's like now Kobe Bryant is the hero. He's Superman, and he's going against the three supervillains with the same powers that he got over in Miami. You know, it's just like we've seen this before. The movie was called Superman too. <laughs> Since the, man, look, because uh, the owner did right by LeBron and got rid of people that LeBron didn't want around no more. Got rid of the coach. Wanted to get a coach in there that was going to win. He was going to work with you to get players. If you just gave him some type of confirmation, you was coming back. They could have got some players, even if Bosch didn't want to come play. They would have gotten somebody. And the disrespect you show by letting him know, like, three minutes before you go on the air to announce where you're going. So the ownership, they had no plans or anything they, under their notion that you're coming back. Because you didn't really inform them and keep them a company that you worked for for seven years. You know, you didn't even give them a two weeks notice. <laughs> so, it's kind of disrespectful. So, I can see why the owner is heated. Even though he went a little bit over the line, I thought with his statements. So, I just thought I'd give you guys the reason why LeBron James pulled up. 